Girls Rock Campaign Boston, we believe that anyone can make amazing music. So today, you are going to make music using this iPad. Well, I'm using this iPad. You use your iPad or your iPhone. Hi everybody. My name is Charlotte Huffman. I am the year-round program coordinator for Girls Rock Campaign Boston. And I'm here today to teach you how to write your very own electronic music today. You're going to do it today. It's going to be awesome. You can do this. I believe in you. Girls Rock Campaign Boston empowers girls, women, and youth and adults with marginalized gender identities to believe in themselves by building a supportive community that fosters self-expression, confidence, and collaboration through music education and performance. Here's what we're going to talk about. One, I'm going to tell you what you need to make this happen. Two, I'm going to show you how to use the app to make some really awesome music. Three, I'm going to show you how to document your process so that you can remember how to play your song a second time. Four, we're going to talk about song parts, the different parts of songs, and how to make your song interesting and engaging. And five, you're going to write your own song, potentially perform it, and record it. This is all going to happen right now. I'm so excited. The materials you need to do this project with me today are an iOS device could be an iPad or an iPhone, something that runs iOS. The free app Launchpad by Amplify Music, which you can find on the App Store. You're gonna need a pen or a pencil to write down your ideas, and you're gonna need a piece of paper. For those of you who are using iPhones, I'm sorry I'm not showing you an example of an iPhone because it does look a little different, but all the same buttons are there. You just have to play around with it. If you want, you can also have headphones, if you're doing this with more than one person, you may want headphones and a headphone splitter so that you can work together on it at the same time. You could have a set of speakers if you want to play your music loud, share it with the world. You could have a copy of Girl Rock, Girls Rock Campaign Boston's electronic music worksheet. This is not necessary, but you can use it. So I'm just going to show you some basics so that you can get started. And then I really want you to get creative on your own. So I'm gonna use an iPad as I do this today. The app is Launchpad by Novation. It's these little orange squares. When my Launchpad comes up, this is what it looks like. I have a bunch of vertical columns with different colors and circles and some with straight lines. I have some buttons on the side and buttons on the top. Once I'm in to my Launchpad, I'm gonna to wanna to choose my sound pack by going up to the top left and picking projects. When I click on projects, there's a list of sound packs I can use. Because this is a GRCB iPad, we have lots of sound packs, but if you're just getting started, you should have six to eight free sound packs already downloaded. So I'm gonna start by choosing any old sound pack that sounds good to me. Now, how this app works is that each column contains a bunch of different sounds and you can combine them. One button per column can be pushed at a time. The circle ones play over and over and they do a good job of counting in and out for you so you don't have to worry if you aren't counting in at the right time. The ones that are straight lines play one time. So I'm gonna start building a song by just clicking a bunch of random buttons. I'm just gonna see what happens and see if I like it and then change the ones that I don't like so much. So let's go on this journey together, shall we? So I'm gonna start with the green, which are drums and just. Now this is a slow sound pack. I can make it go faster and slower, which I'm gonna show you in a minute after I keep adding some things. I'm just gonna push some random buttons and see what we get. All right, so now I've got a pattern that I like. Once I've got a pattern that I like, I can then mess with it. I can change it in a lot of different ways. 
One of the first ways that I can change it is by changing the tempo by going to the speed button up here. I'm gonna go to the speed button and I can either tap out the tempo I want it to be or I can just press the, the up button to speed it up or the down button to slow it down. I can always reset back to how it started. I can sometimes change the key by doing this little tuning fork. When I click on the tuning fork, I can change it to a different key uh, to make it work with the song that I'm writing. So sometimes it sounds good. Sometimes you're like, maybe it doesn't sound as good. But I haven't used any of these yet, so I'm gonna show you what these do. So they are a one-time sound, that every time you play it, it'll play. Every time you play it, it'll play. It will, just like the others, cut it off if you pick another one in the same column. So I now have this song. It's, it's, it's running. I have one part of a song going. There are other things that I can do to make it sound more interesting or exciting or to change it. So I can go down here and I can go to filters, volume, and effects. Let's start with the filters. And using these filters, I can change the wavelengths of the different sounds in each column. So let's say I wanna change the vocal one. or change a bunch at the same time. If I ever want to reset, I can just double tap. I can go to volume and change the volume of a specific one. If I want this drum to be quieter than that drum, or if I want a bunch of things to come out and then come back in, I can always double tap to bring things back to normal. At the bottom is effects. So this is where it really gets fun. Using these, I can make a lot of things happen. I can make somebody walk into the room that I didn't want to see, <sighs> but then it's all good, right? I can uh, make it sound like it's a little bit underwater situation. These effects can really change what you have going on, make it pretty exciting, right? So. This isn't a song that that really sounds like great on, but it can be a really fun tool. You can use more than one of these at a, at the, uh, a single time. If I really like all the same sounds in the same row, I can slide my finger and change all the sounds at once to in an entire row and they have been organized to create kind of different sound collections in those rows so the person who created these thought they sounded good together right i can always stop all of them by the way by hitting the stop button you may be wondering how do i remember how to play my song like do i remember the first song that i just wrote just here all those buttons i do not what you can use to help you so that you can remember how you like your song going is you can either download the PDF of the electronic music worksheet from GRCB or you can use a regular piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, you're gonna wanna draw eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns and one, two, three, four, five, six rows. You wanna basically have a square for each one of the different sounds on here. Now, since it's hard to see on here a little bit, I'm going to use this one. So I have one space for each of the buttons on my iPad. So what I'm going to do is as I'm writing my song, this time I'm going to start it slow. I just want to start with that. On my paper, I'm going to write a number one in the space that that sound is in. As I add the next sound, I'm gonna add a number two in the square that corresponds with that space. As I add number three, hmm, yes, yeah, I'll put it in here. In that way, I can keep track of what I push at what time. Now, it gets a little tricky with effects, 
So I usually just write or draw a little, uh, like when I go to the effects. If I wanna use this wavy wavy function, wavy wavy wavy, I will draw a little button down here with the wavy wavies in it so that I can remember that I wanna push that with the number next to it. So that I know when I accidentally press stop uh, and I wanna make that song again, I can follow my chart and say, okay, one, two, three, four. And if you wanna record your song, there's a button right up here, the little circle. So you can click on the circle and then press record. Once it's recording, as soon as I press my first button, my song is recording. It turns red on the circle and that's how I know it's recording. And then let's say I'm done with my song. I would press stop. I can go up to the top three lines. I can go to recordings and there will be the recording that I just made. You can then save this recording and export it to SoundCloud, YouTube. You can just put the audio onto your iPad so that you can transfer it somewhere else by text. Send your song somewhere and share it. Share it with us. Share it with the Girls Rock Campaign Boston. I wanna hear what you made. Once you've been experimenting for a while, it'll be time to write like your final song, like the song you're gonna write today. You've been playing with different sounds, you know what you like, you know what you don't like, you know what sounds good together. Now it's time to organize it into a way that it's a complete song. When we're not using lyrics yet, it can be hard to be like, well, this is the verse, this is the chorus. So what we talk about is intro, part A, breakdown, part B, outro. Uh, we want an intro, some way that you're starting your song that you like. Does it start with a bang? Does it start with one instrument at a time? And then we move into part A. This is like a sound that you like, a bunch of sounds that you like that you want to keep going for like 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Then you'll have a breakdown. Throw in some of those effects. Take part one, mix it up, and turn it into part two. Then play part two for 15, 30, 45 seconds. Oh, I love it and then make an outro. How do you wanna go out? Do you wanna go out with a, just cut it off? Or do you wanna go out one instrument at a time? Your mission, if you choose to accept it, from Girls Rock Campaign Boston is today, use Launchpad, write a five part song, needs an intro, part one, breakdown, part two, outro, record it, onto Launchpad, record it in the app, and then share it with us so that we can hear it if you want, or just share it with your friends and family. Put it on those speakers, put it on headphones, play it for your mom, your dog, your cat, play it for somebody. Be creative, try your best, and make something awesome. It doesn't have to be perfect. Every shout, every chord, every note is awesome. Because we're all in this now.